Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will take a brief look at the actions that are available for each of the conditions within Century One. Let's first define what an action is. An action is a step that is taken when a condition evaluates to true. There are many actions that can be specified depending on the condition in which you are responding to. For demonstration purposes, I will set up a new SQL Server Agent Job Started condition and we will take a look at the action options that can be paired with this condition. The available options are Execute Job. This action is used to execute a SQL job on the current server in response to the condition being met. Execute PowerShell. This action will allow you to execute PowerShell commands against any of your monitored servers when a condition is true. Execute Process. This action will allow you to execute defined command text against any of your monitored servers. Execute SQL. This action allows you to execute T-SQL statements in response to the condition being met. Log to database. This action will log relevant data to the Sentry1 database, which can be viewed with the actions log within the client. Log to disk. This action sends data about the condition to a user-specified text file on the server hosting the Sentry1 monitoring service. Log to Windows Event Log. This action records data relevant to the condition to the application event log on the server hosting the Sentry1 monitoring service. Run Quick Trace. This action allows you to take a comprehensive snapshot of activity at the time that the condition is met. Quick Trace will be discussed further in a different video. Send Email. This action sends an email alert to the users or groups specified in the action settings for the condition. The action settings will be discussed in a different video. Send Page. This action allows you to send a message to a pager or via SMS text. Send SNMP Trap. This action will send a simple network management protocol trap notification. There are two other actions that I'd like to discuss that will not be specifically applied to this condition. However, other conditions may have them as an option. Send to alerting channels. This is used by advisory conditions to display information about the condition on the performance analysis dashboard. Advisory conditions will be discussed in a different video. And finally, kill task. This action is used to kill a job if, for instance, it exceeds a specified runtime threshold. If you have any questions about this information or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.century1.com. Thanks for watching.